I'm Chris Edwards. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Interseed. Interseed is a cyber security company. Um, we've been in business for 20 years or so. And our primary uh, product line has been um, a credential management uh, solution, which is responsible for issuing and managing uh, smart cards across a range of industries, including government and uh, uh, defense, aerospace, manufacturing, finance, and so on. Um, that product was built on a secure platform, which has enabled us to uh, step up to other security-related applications. And of particular interest now, with the uh, rapid expansion of mobile access to internet resources, is the uh, requirement to secure apps themselves. And that naturally led on to um, working with trusted execution environments, where we realized that there was a gap in terms of how you deliver those trusted applications to the devices. Our platform was very well suited to providing a cloud service to do this, so we, we um, rapidly developed a solution that allow, allows uh, app developers to onboard uh, to the ecosystem and to um, deliver their trusted apps through to the, the, uh, the mobile phones and other devices. Um, just, just without really any difficult user interactions at all. So the, the user goes on to the App Store, downloads uh, their app in the normal way, and the trusted application installation happens pretty much invisibly to the end user. I think over the past five years, we've seen the erosion of the perimeter on uh, data security, really. Um, it used to be the case that you'd be accessing corporate resources from within a trusted network. Um, as the workforce becomes more mobile, that perimeter is broken down, and so we have access from all sorts of external points and, and new devices, mobiles and, and uh, tablets and uh, uh, other, other devices that actually need to access that data remotely. That means that you need to place far greater emphasis on the protection of the endpoints, but also on protecting the channels coming in. So you need to identify the person at the end of the line and make sure that they are coming in from a trusted device and that you can identify them with a high degree of confidence. Um, and that means that we need to come up with different and better solutions to actually secure that, that connection and, and reduce the threat back to a manageable level. TEE has a very strong part to play in this, in this whole ecosystem now because um, the app environment, um, although in design is um, probably better than uh, traditional desktops in that there is a strong separation between apps and their, and their memory space and so on, there is still a significant risk if you're just using a simple app that you can get Trojans on there, things could intercept um, information flowing from keyboards and screens and other peripherals. The TEE gives us a way of isolating the uh, secure parts of an app. It gives us a way of isolating the, uh, the data and the actual working memory of those critical parts um, so that you can be confident that no other app is able to intercept that data. The other thing it brings is the trusted user interface which allows you to be very confident that no other app is able to intercept um, keystrokes or, um, or to spoof the screen um, to uh, support phishing attacks and so on. Having a standard interface onto the trusted execution environment is very important for the app developers because it gives them a consistent way of developing their trusted applications. It also means that we can have events such as the global platform trusted execution uh, um, event that we're at today um, to promote it and give uh, application developers a chance to uh, discover more about how to take advantage of the features of the TEE and to deliver real-world applications in a consistent manner across a wide range of platforms.
I think the main things that I'm really looking forward to seeing is a much more widespread adoption of the, uh, the TEE across a, a wider range of devices um, and to improve the consistency of the implementation across those devices. Functionally, um, I think it's really important that we start to see more implementations that give us access to things like secure elements through the TEE but also access to other peripherals in a trusted manner. So for example, at the moment we can control access to screens and to the, uh, the keyboards, but we'd like to also have uh, secured access to microphone, camera, um, sensors and so on, so that we can be confident that we're actually um, getting reliable information through, particularly when we're looking at things like biometric authentication, and, um, and, and uh, geolocation based services. I think events like today's are absolutely crucial to raise awareness of the capabilities of trusted execution environments, to, to uh, expose application developers to the importance of, of building security in at the very beginning of their development process. Um, but also as a, sh a showcase to the rest of uh, industry for what can be achieved with this new technology. Um, it's a great chance for all the people involved in this ecosystem to meet up and exchange ideas and exchange services because no one part of this system can exist in isolation from the others.